What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Don't mind all this mess over here. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video is something a little similar to videos we used to do quite a while ago. Where we get to kind of combine everything that it is we do in terms of photo, video, to allow us to make something and we get to show you guys. It's like the creative process. Plus we've been like inside the apartment for a we while. Have. We've been very sick for the past week. Hashtag coronavirus is a thing. So we thought we could do a video inside and try and get some like really cool pictures. So we love making creative little pics. Something more than just standing there taking a pic. We like maybe adding some motion to them. Just spending a little bit more time and making like a creative pic that we can then post to Instagram and include in the video. So we have a few ideas. We're gonna take you with us. Kind of show you a little bit about how we do it and the process. <laughs> let's and hope it works out right? Yeah, yeah, let's hope it works. They're not always guaranteed. <laughs> So, some levitation photography, and we're gonna put me in the middle of the, of the bed, like floating above the bed, and try and have like things just floating around me. That makes sense? Like a laptop or like camera. Just some hard drives, some things. memory cards. I think to kind of make it, I don't know if you can see me, kind of make it look like a typical doing a video, we're doing a bit of work in the apartment, we just happen yeah. to be floating in midair. <laughs> just as you do. <laughs> We actually wanted to record this in the apartment that we were in previously because it was really cool and just had the most amazing view. You could see all of Manila, it was just so cool. But we did end up being sick for a week and then we had to move out of there yesterday to this little place. So, But you just have to work, work with, with what, you what you've got and that's going to be the thing with these videos. It, it might not be perfect, it might not turn out anything like what we want it to. You also might not be in focus. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna give it a go. Also, are we gonna try and not get this yes. thing in? Because I don't not I don't like this. Okay, so this is kind of the angle that we'd hoped, but as you can see, the background has to be completely blown out to get you bright. Okay, so this is definitely gonna have to be a case of taking multiple picks to get, hold up, to get that city <laughs> the way it is now, nicely exposed, and then to get you nicely exposed. This is not, whoa, zoomed in. This is not something we've done a lot of. Um, we have made like creative style pics and stuff, obviously, and combined different parts of pictures, but we haven't really done photo stacking that much before, so it's this- It's practice. It's practice, and hopefully it works. It's your warm up routine. <laughs> yeah. It's not exactly the angle that we wanted, but there's just too many things that we, like, we don't like this. And we don't really like the curtains, we don't really like this part of the bed. So yeah, it's trying to like find the right combination. But, I mean, we're just gonna go for it, see what happens. I can't <laughs> blow the window out completely or you won't even be able to see the city. So we need to get two shots and hopefully join them together in Photoshop. Okay. Okay, so we've got three shots. One with the background nicely exposed. It is focusing where Christina is, but the background is not completely blown out. Then I've got one with the exposed for the inside here with Christina not on the bed, so I can crop away whatever she's gonna sit on to make her levitate a little bit. So I think we might use a suitcase because the chair is gonna be probably a little high, but let's do that. <laughs> this is what we're going for. Dana's gonna sit on the suitcase to lift her off the bed a little bit and then I will remove the suitcase using the other pick that I have. Using magic. Okay, get your ass onto that suitcase. Come on, come on, break it. 
Hold on, I need to sh I need to make sure you're in the proper spot. I feel like it's going to be a bit too high. No, I can always I can cut round you if I need to, but. Well, that was not very comfortable. <laughs> I got a cramp like three times. Um, but I think we're, one of them will probably work. Now we have to do pictures of the individual items that are going to be floating. This has to stay exactly yes, where the, it is. This cannot move. Another little tip that I noticed Chris using is using the timer. So when you're going to take a picture, put the timer on so that way you can take your hand away and it doesn't move the camera. I mean, ideally you'd want to use your phone or a button because every time it touches the camera it's moving it out a little move. bit. But yeah. I think we should play some Harry Potter music. Okay, so we did have the idea of Christina obviously using the laptop on, with one hand and then reaching for like a hard drive or something with the other hand, but I don't think you're going to be able to make out that it actually is a hard drive or understand because it just looks like a little black box. So I think we're going to go for a good old cup of coffee or tea just floating tea. there. It's definitely tea, let me tell you. This is yeah. something like that. Focus. <laughs> so this is everything that we used for that shot right there. We used our laptop, which is our new laptop by the way. I don't think we actually told you guys that we got a new laptop. Do you want to help me open this? Yeah, look how it's clean it is. Lenovo, what type of laptop? It's a gaming laptop. So Lenovo IdeaPad L340. Oh, it's so cool. I absolutely love it. So we use that, a memory card, hard drive, little tripod, phone, and then we just use this little mug to look like I was drinking tea. Think. I mean, you never really know with these shots because there's always something you forget to, you forget to keep the white balance the same or something, but I think we did everything right. Um, ideally, <clears throat> while we were thinking about what shot to do, with this shot, we were thinking of like having Christina sit there, focus on her, take the picture, she moves away and then hold everything where we wanted it to be in the frame so that it would be focused as it would if it was took as one picture. Yeah. But because we don't really know exactly where it's gonna be, we just held stuff into the frame at certain areas and we'll had different angles and if I need to cut it out and move it a little bit in the frame, I will. And we'll see how it goes. Jump onto the laptop, throw everything in, try and put it together, and we'll get back to you after. Okay, it is a new day, although it may not look like it because I am wearing, I believe, the exact same outfit. But anyway, we did spend a day um, fiddling around with that last picture, trying to make it work. It didn't turn out exactly as I would have liked. Um, few different reasons for that what were they again so the background trying to do the uh, two pictures and combine them uh, exposed for the background exposed for inside kind of made the picture look different than what the items did when we took the picture if that makes sense so the laptop and everything has a lot of light coming in whereas in the picture where they're both combined it doesn't look as bright so the items just look a bit off and that's the tricky part with these um, type of pictures is trying to make the items look like they were all took in one picture when I added it two together. It's hard to explain. Didn't turn out exactly like we wanted, but we have got another idea that we're gonna try just to show you the more simplified version of it. We're gonna yeah. stand out right out here on this little balcony. Still got the city view and gonna make it kind of like a couple pick, but we're gonna be, I'm gonna be drinking coffee. Christina's gonna have her coffee cup, holding it out and there's gonna be we're going to use a kettle, but I think we're going to add it in like a cool little teapot to make it look like there's just a floating teapot pouring some coffee for Christina. So let's give that a go. What are you doing now, Christina? I'm done stout. I am, um, what am I doing again? So you're Boiling water and then I'm going to put like a tea bag in it 
so <laughs> it kind of has like the color that tea would be. So yeah, otherwise it would just be, just be plain boiling water and I'd have to try and make it look brown. So yeah, put the tea bag in the kettle. It's the little details with these type of picks that means when you go in to edit, it just all comes together and looks a little bit more real. Tea bag in the kettle. <gasps> Steamy. <gasps> <laughs> what a waste of a tea bag. Okay, so here is the setup. Camera has just got enough room. Christina's out there with her cup. And I think we're gonna stand you here, me behind you, facing you, and then you holding your hand out here somewhere with the cup, which will be in focus. In, with your other hand. Now I was thinking you face me and hold your cup out like over the edge almost. This way. Like hmm. Okay, right, yeah. Stand like yeah, about there and then just look like you're just up for your morning coffee and you need oh. somebody to fill you up. Oh, fill up my coffee. Not like you're blown out, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Hold that, hold it right there, and I'm gonna pour this coffee in. I don't in. have any more room. I got a little more. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I just need a nice little stream of tea slash coffee. <laughs> right, now I'm all filled up. There's no more room. Uh. So after playing around with a few different um, picture setups, we finally got the pick that we wanted and then as you've seen we poured some uh, tea from the kettle so we could get a little stream of tea dripping down in which then in Photoshop I cut out and placed on top of the picture of Christina holding out in the cup to make it look like the tea was spilling down into the cup. But obviously I didn't want to use the kettle because it just looks a bit crap to be honest so had to go and look for a cool looking teapot which proved to be quite difficult because this is where these type of pictures are really hard to make look real because obviously the teapot is just a picture from google like a product shot that i've cropped in and then tried to make look like it was there in the pic it's okay i'm not really that happy with just it floating in the air it doesn't it doesn't quite look like it's there and that's because it wasn't and the lighting it's like kind of like a product shot so the lighting's different and it, that's that's the thing with these if you're going to combine picks or if you're going to try and put items into a pick ideally you want to be taking the picture of the item yourself in the same location or at least getting a picture with the same sort of lighting like everything was getting christina was kind of backlit in this picture because the sky and everything's behind her whereas the product shot of this teapot clearly has some sort of front light on it which i tried my best to remove but i don't know i mean i added it in some tea into the actual cup and there's a little splash coming out which it, it's okay from a distance it's not one of my greatest edits but that is the tricky part it's easier if you when you're doing these picks to take all the picks you have and keep the exposure the same and if you want to move things around in the pick or crop out like the likes of the suitcase from the first pick we done it tends to look more real obviously because it's the same location same lighting and stuff but it's okay it's something fun to do these type of picks and we like trying new things and seeing what we can do this one was one of the tougher ones we've done but we'll try some other stuff and hopefully you guys can learn a little bit from it just watching us trying to do these different things but anyway we'll try a different one again soon and yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like the pick give it a thumbs up drop a comment below and let us know if you've tried this before and yeah take it easy